prophet how do we see well when it comes to seeing in the realm of the spirit you don't see like your natural eyes see things okay the only way that you can see things like your natural eyes is when you enter into the ecstatic realm in case you don't understand ecstatic realm then let me help you with this for you to actually see in that manner you need to enter into the realm of trance or in a dream kind of vision or revelation where your body do not have control fully where you have lost the strength of your body then everything becomes so real to you in the spiritual realm i remember a gentleman that we prayed for and we asked him what do you see he said i see nothing i said what do you see others were saying oh i saw this i saw that for him it was like i don't see anything and i said okay um tell me what do you think about seeing in the realm of the spirit he said oh i thought i need to just see it physically i said you are wrong we don't see in the spirit like that there are many of you because of the wrong knowledge you have concerning seeing you think that you need to see the thing physically oh i need to see this angel physically because most prophet only use the prophetic vocabulary without actually telling you that that is not exactly how they see it what they normally say does not mean that that is how they are seeing it so you hear prophet be like an angel just appeared to me and he's standing there so to you you think that he is just seeing the angel with physical eyes that is not how we see in the spirit realm you need to understand that you are not just a spirit you are a spirit body and soul so your soul becomes like the intermediate the one that links your spirit and your body so any seeing you're gonna do you cannot bypass the soul you need to always pass it through the soul or better still the mind and that is what makes you a man who is trying to see into the spirit if it is left with your spirit alone the things of the spirit are physical to your spirit but now that your soul is attached then your soul must also play a role and your body as well so what happens when anything is revealed in the spirit it first of all goes through to your soul then it paints a picture of that thing in the spirit let's say for instance in the spirit somebody died in the soul when the message is coming through your spirit and it enters your soul it looks for the information you have already stored there either consciously or unconsciously then portray it as an image or as a word or as a writing on the screen of your mind of course everyone have a screen in his mind or you don't have one all right let me help you yesterday i remember going for a party and whilst i was on my way going for this party oh my god i met one demon possessed guy who tried to beat the hell out of me but as he was trying before he knows it i kicked him down with one blow you see that when i was just saying this to me i was speaking it but to you you were seeing it with the eyes of your imagination so whenever the holy ghost speaks the word he has spoken enters your subconscious mind searches for the exact pictures graphics letters symbols or signs that conforms with what god has said inside you then it portrays it on the screen of your mind then the prophet's intuition confirms it then after the intuitions confirms it then the prophet says i have seen a name like this who is this who is that who is that because it is coming for instance there was a young guy i was prophesying to the name of the person i mentioned to him was called eto but i didn't see the word eto but the word that did appeared to me within my mind was somewhere because we know a formal player called Eto. So I began to see Samuel. Then I said, ah, I am seeing a name like Samuel. Before I finished the Samuel, I saw Eto appeared in the screen of my mind. Then I said, Eto. He said, yes, that is my friend. Are you telling me that God was telling me about Samuel Eto? No. But at that instant, 
what could help me to understand is for the word to search through my subconscious mind to look for the an information that tallies with what God is saying in order that I will understand. That's how we see in the spiritual realm. So if you were waiting that an angel will appear to you in your church service, you wait and wait for long. But instead, those little signs, symbols you see are actually very important. There are prophets who only see signs and symbols. So they prophesy trying to interpret those signs and symbols. And at the end of the day, they make a lot of sense and meaning. By now, you are that type. Appreciate that and begin to walk in that reality. Because if you don't appreciate it, you are not going to enter into that realm. You are not going to understand what you are seeing. I used to see a lot of green leaves, green trees, and stuff like that. Then when I began to appreciate it, because that was how the vision realm was opening to me little by little, because I became more conscious trying to see things in the spirit. And I began to see leaves. I'll be there and I'll see like something like an O shape, maybe a Z shape. All I have to do is to write the Z down. Later, something else might pop up. Then I'll write it also down. Later, another thing will pop up. Then I'll write it down. The more you keep doing this, the more you are building your intuition to move and flow in that direction. You want everything speed? Then I don't think the Holy Ghost is the leader. If the Holy Ghost becomes your leader, his desire is for you to be more accurate than to be the fastest prophet alive. They don't, God is not pleased with the fastest prophet. He's pleased with the accuracy. Because when you communicate it to the person accurately, you have delivered the person. It is better to be slow and to be sure than to be fast and blow up everything. A lot of you want to just rise up one day and be like major one. It doesn't work like that. Those little, little, small, small visions needs to be appreciated and needs to be used. The more you use them and keep pursuing. Remember the Bible says you will grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. So you grow. The more you grow, the more certain things become sensible to you. So to see in the spirit, I can tell you that a lot of you are seeing already, but you despise what you see because it doesn't look like a telephone number to you, but you you were able to see three. So four, these are the things skilled prophets put together to prophesy to people by the lead of the spirit. If it has to do with their telephone number, their addresses or what have you. So don't walk about thinking an angel will just be on the street physically or in your service. No. When we see, God makes it appear on the screens of our minds. Then, by the conviction or the confirmation of our intuition, we we or the prophet by faith will say, there's an angel here because it popped up on his screen the screen of his mind then he begins to say it by faith because his intuition has agreed with the information that popped up god bless you hope to see you don't forget to subscribe and don't also forget to share my name is prophet gilbert atanga and this is trips the rising prophets if you are part of us learn to share follow god bless you bye-bye